Check it out, child. Cheeky choke, no joke. Put my headset on for this. In the building. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. It's Amy first in the building. What's good, what's good, y'all? Choke, no joke in the building. Come on, let me get my walk. What's the word? What's the word, y'all? What's good? What's good? Black Cherry, what up, baby? How you feeling? Hold on, let me make sure I got my uh, Bluetooth on. Hold well on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Peace and love. What up, what up, y'all? Hey, wifey, what's going on? How you? Y'all here in Nivea? Somebody said Nivea concert. Y'all want to see Nivea? Let me see if I can see Nivea from here. Give y'all a little sample. Let me give y'all a little sample. I know y'all here for me to talk about the Rock Nation CEO. Y'all see, I told y'all. I told y'all, Jay-Z about to make his departure. All y'all niggas ran up over there to be up under him and signed. <laughs> y'all, y'all now, don't call me. Call Desiree. <laughs> Let's, see. Let's see what Livia talking about, y'all. <laughs> Yo, go in the building, yo. What's they said? How about it? Yeah, yeah, he was at. The most infamous yeah. choke guy. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Get good in the building. All right? Now, what's that? Her voice on this album is the combination of so many years of just like figuring life out. And, and getting it together, right. yo. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> so congratulations on all you got going on. Like, literally, you cheated. Oh, hold on. I was about to, to rant. <laughs> Here's the thing. It doesn't cost money to buy albums these days. You literally can pull out your phone right now and hit download. Do that shit. For all the artists that rock tonight, because at the end of the day, it's all a numbers game. And everybody is just trying to level up and get their thing rocking. Like, literally, you're about to look at a picture of someone who's not following you back on Instagram. Pull out your phone for the people that are jumping on the stage and rocking out for you so you can really find out what's going on. This sister right here got something to say. She got music. What's the song that gets someone pregnant to? Oh, I love that flower guy. What's, what's the song that cheat on your baby daddy to? It's a really strong song. <laughs> Nippy, y'all make some noise! Woo! Woo! Now, my man, John Lion Sounds, is still in the back. We set things up. We're about to play a record or two. If you want to buy a raffle ticket so you can get one of these fly presents that we're giving away, uh, the young lady right there, Anna, she's holding her hand up. The raffle ticket's $5. All the money is going towards the Atlanta Children's Shelter. Shout out to Black Rob who's in the building. Shout out Goody Mom is in the building. They're going to be touching the stage later on. Ultra Beast is in the house. Shout out my man Four Rise, man. It's going to be a repugnant evening of rap. We're going to play a song. Jesse Wu is on deck as well. For a tree, man. Hey, cracks, ugly birthday Christmas party. Let's take some pictures in the back real quick while we rock the music. Get ready for the next act. Let's go, squirt. Right joke, no joke. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Mm, excuse me. All right. Hey, how you doing? Now, let's get to the business, y'all. Can't believe Headcrack went and played Little Nas X. What is going on? So, my peoples, let's talk for a second here. Now, what did I tell y'all was going to happen? What did I tell y'all what was gonna happen? 
Y'all yeah, heard this week Fat Joe was talking about uh, he going to retire. He retiring. That means Fat Joe got the call. What was going down? He like, I'm retiring. Y'all ain't going to sell me to Live Nation. Sorry, y'all. You know, I, I wasn't trying to say nothing. And I know the power of word is strong and it can make things happen, but told y'all. Yeah, what are y'all gonna do at the, rec the next Rock Nation brunch? When Jay-Z ain't there. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's gonna be standing around Desiree. <laughs> A bunch of street niggas is gonna be standing around Desiree. Talking about they street niggas, they stand up niggas, and they <laughs> Yo, what up? Peace, alright. Yo, yeah, I think it's all ran over there. Boot licking, plan is eating. What are y'all going to do? If she is the CEO, right? What is your Jay-Z? The chairman, he's not gonna be there, y'all. He's about to make his exit. And they, right now, he probably changed his number, right now. All these dudes hitting him like, yo, what, yo, what's going on? Yo, yo, talk to Desiree. Talk to Desiree. <laughs> talk to Desiree. All these street niggas, stand up niggas, they bad at Takashi, oh Takashi this, Takashi's that. But now y'all got an answer to her. And she did more worse than, than what Takashi did. And I'm not even front on her because she, she did what she had to do for her to be where she's at today. But y'all not going to sit around and be talking the street rule stuff to me. And y'all boss of all bosses that did that thing. I, I don't even want to keep saying what she did because y'all can look it up. It's public record. But every street dude that's supposed to be street stand up, prison reform dudes, drug dealer dudes, stand up to dudes, dudes that don't mess with Takashi. Y'all all signed to Rock Nation. What are y'all gonna do now? I tell y'all one thing. Any of y'all dudes that's affiliated with any of them dudes that signed to Rock Nation. And y'all are dirty and y'all in the streets. Y'all niggas better to detach yourself from those that are signed to that label. I'm telling you now, you already know how hot it is over there. You already know what's going on. You don't know what went down. You know when, when what went down. You know how many people over there got cases. You know those cases with those people don't go away. You're working forever. So if you are not 100% six o'clock, hey, get out now. You heard me? Stick, don't, they ain't hanging around your peoples no more. That are signed to them, all right? When they in them meetings, y'all better walk in there with a bucket of water and douse people. Make sure they ain't got no microphones on them. Play if y'all want. The man is, he done sold all of them like cattle. Watch, I give it, I say summertime the latest, but I think it's gonna be before that. There's gonna be an announcement that they sell in Rock Nation, watch. Where all those, you know how much that, that shit is worth now? Where all these people signed to it? Y'all think this woman is, 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 was made CEO for nothing? Watch what happens.
I guarantee y'all, watch what happens. The big sale is coming. Jay Z's probably about to announce he's either going to run for a political office or something. But this move is made for a reason. Y'all can believe what y'all want. Y'all can say that I'm hating. But uh, watch what happens. Blood cloud, man, me drop a drink, man. Blood. Now I gotta go make me another drink. I'm about to pop somebody's bottle, and I don't care. Y'all don't tell nobody. I'm gonna pop somebody's bottle. I'm going right in this green room. Give me a bottle of champagne. And I'm popping somebody's bottle. Drop on the truth. It's good. Yeah, I think it's a joke. I'm not joking. Watch me. Watch me pop somebody's bobby out. This is why I'm not working. I will buy Spills nothing. I got skills. That's what you call fishy champagne popper. You heard me? Pop a prop. Yo, y'all gotta, y'all gotta watch um, the Strong Me Pop. So, 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 yeah, I started shooting my movie. A few people seen the trailer, they loved it. I will be dropping the trailer on Christmas Eve for y'all. Christmas Eve. I'm dropping the trailer for my movie. So it's a comedy show? Yeah, it's a sketch comedy show. Oh, I definitely. I feel like I'm I'll be holding um auditions or I'm gonna have a casting. Alright. In Atlanta. Alright, this is in January for those who wanna try out for the movie, all right? It is a horror movie. So I need you guys to understand. All right. So if you don't do horror movies, are you scared? Yes. So complaining about the time is going to change the fact. I know, but it's not more so complaining. It's more so kind of. All right. Yeah. 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 Ye
Shout out to all the bowlers out there. Psh. Another thing I want to talk about real quick was, like I said, I know this is old, but I forgot to talk about it. When I seen Irv Gotti and Ja Rule and Charlie Baltimore trying to rush in SOBs to fight Medina because of her doing a rap about Charlie. Irv, Ja, Charlie, Siani. Y'all know what reality TV do. Y'all know that they do stuff to get you upset. Y'all know that it is scripted and strategically to get the reaction out of y'all that they got. Irv, Ja, Charlie. A chick get on stage and start rapping and dissing y'all and that was y'all response. Y'all response was supposed to be supposed to be straight laughter. Y'all supposed to laugh and say, yo, y'all funny. Y'all should have pointed at the producers like, ah, y'all tried to get us. Didn't work. Y'all know what this reality TV world is. Y'all know that everything is, is written to get a reaction out of people. And that reaction that y'all y'all did could have went totally wrong and I thought that, that y'all all was mature enough, even smart enough, to know when y'all being played by producers that y'all would have gave them a, a, a middle finger response opposed to trying to bust in SOBs, trying to fight the security and all that. I, I come from the, the old school, man. Somebody rapping at y'all saying y'all name on stage. Ain't no beef, especially when y'all know y'all on the show. Y'all on the show. Y'all knew that that was gonna happen at some point. Y'all supposed to laugh that off. But, you know, shout out Medina, shout out Charlie, shout out Ray, shout out John. Like, y'all go on these reality shows, know that they gonna do things to strike a nerve to make you act in a way that is going to be good for TV or is going to be good for the blogs that's going to draw viewership uh, to the show. So moving forward, if you on there on these reality shows, if some freak accident happened or somebody pops up that you haven't seen in years, count to 10. Take a deep breath, and I'm telling you this as a producer because I worked on these reality shows. Take a deep breath, it's the first thing you say to yourself is, oh yeah, they trying to set me up, or they want a reaction out of me. Before you find yourself in jail, or with a case, or in a beef, and these producers and these writers, they go home and they sleep without having a problem, and you, got real problems in the street. You know what I'm saying? So, take my advice. When shit like this happens on these reality shows, and you on these shows, slowly count to 10, take a deep breath, and say they set me up. They set me up. They set me, me up. And I guarantee you, your reaction will be different. Because when the show is go done and over with, the, the executives up in New York or up in these offices, they ain't got no beef in the streets. You do. So be careful how you react. And stop being so thirsty to get on TV. I, I'm seeing people that I worked with on these reality shows that they are getting in relationships with people they don't really love. They are getting engaged with people that they don't really love. They having babies by people that they don't, they not in love with. They may love the person or whatever, but they not in love with. 
and they they doing all this to stay relevant on the show to have a storyline so they can get another check. You know what I'm saying? It's some of these girls that I've seen on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta that are back in the strip club, working in the strip club. Some of these rappers be mothers. I ain't, I ain't putting nobody on blast, but I've seen them working back in the strip club. So y'all better be careful about going on these shows and revealing your life and putting your family out there because you could be on there for one season and embarrass your whole family and expose yourself for them to cut you off and be back in the strip club working again and where everybody knows you now. You know what I'm saying? It, I've seen it. I've seen at least two of the girls from Love and Hip Hop working back in the strip club. And these is baby mothers and like people that y'all yeah, yeah, felt had good careers, they are working in the strip clubs. Real talk. I'm not gonna say which strip club is, then I'll give it away, but those people in Atlanta, they see them. But um, getting back to the Rock Nation thing, I'm very curious to see who's going to make this purchase. If Live Nation is going to purchase it and then they just going to own everybody straight up. Because if you're paying attention, Kanye is doing this whole gospel thing so he don't have to do Live Nation venues and he's still making money uh, using church venues because Live Nation hasn't monopolized the churches. So this whole Kanye, Jesus is king, and he gonna gospel. He just found a way for him to still do his thing and not have to deal with Rock Nation and Live Nation because they monopolized the game. That's all he's doing this church thing for. So because he's not trying to let them control him no more. Your boy Jay Z is about to either run for some type of political office or something, but I guarantee you he's about to step away from the, the music game and the capacity that we knew that he was doing it. So, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna really say my man Juicy J in the building. Shout out to Juicy J. But I want, I want to see how, when it's transpired, because it, it's going to transpire. They probably just moving slow about it because I keep blowing they, they spot up and, and, and predicting they moves. Just like I told y'all, Jay-Z was going to drop music in, in December in the fourth quarter. Say, oh, Cho, you don't know what you're talking about. He didn't drop no music. And then we turn around and look what happens. His whole catalog's on Spotify now. That's releasing music. I don't care if y'all look at it as, oh, that music was out. It's re-releases. It's like releasing a greatest hits album. Pay attention and watch what's going on. Stop idolizing. Stop playing this eating. Pay attention what's going on. Choke is a hater, yeah. I'll be a hater, but I'm a smart mother effing hater. All right? Call me Nostradamus, the hater. Choker Damas. The hater. No, baby. Who is that singing that? No, baby. What song is this? Oh, I got we gotta go see who the hell this is, y'all. Cause she is butchering this song. Who the fuck is this? Oh, we gonna see who this is.
Made me drop my phone. Hold on, y'all. Drop my phone, man. Drop my drink, man. Miss Juicy, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was you, Miss Juicy. I am so sorry, Miss Juicy. I did not mean to talk about your singing. I'm so sorry, Miss Juicy. What's the bathroom back in? Yes. Question my exact. God ah, damn, man. Spill my mom drink twice. Oh, good thing they got some towels in here. That's what you talk about, VIP. Damn, Miss Juicy, I'm so sorry, Miss Juicy. I didn't know that was you, Miss Juicy. Damn, I talk so much shit about her damn singing. I feel bad. Uh, I'm coming out. I just want to wash my hands, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 What kind of food y'all got in there? I don't even know. It ain't for me. It's for the fucking people. It's for the fucking people or the people? Oh, good about it. Okay. So it, I have no idea what they're eating. You know, I just want to watch this. Let's <laughs> see where she going. Hey. Let's see what they were. Okay, he's not going to. Brussels sprouts, um, 
Um, look like some pasta. <laughs> He's like, okay. Go, go, go ahead, I'll give you that. Okay, okay, some fried fish. Whoa. Oh, okay. okay. So you got some white in. That's cat. This is like vegan pasta. So that's chicken pasta and this vegan vegan pasta. Okay. Y'all ain't got no honey bacon. Ain't no honey bacon. Honey bacon. Yes, sir. Think you at? You got your slice of vegetables. Pork chop. No pork on my fork. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Eat your yeah. raw pork chop too. You don't, don't have half cooked. I see my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just want to fork this up back down this way. Let's give him a the other, uh, Can you back me up? Cool, cool, cool. Get a child line. On the child, on the child. Raise up. On the chow line, on the chow line. That's catfish, right? See, I know, I know my my fish when I see it. I'm ready. You both call me. I see you. when it, we go to tomorrow. Twelve thirty. All right. 1230 more. Y'all heard him. Y'all gonna see me on the golf course tomorrow. 1230. Bus team on bus. Look at little bro play. We got a happy meal. <laughs> That's a hearty meal right there. So we ain't got no ham over there. not Thanksgiving or Christmas. Timo, Sylvia, I ask you for ham. You ain't tired of ham. He wants a smile on his life. He just want to take it off the ball. Yeah. Timo want, want, some, want some ham and, uh, Timo wants some ham and cranberry sauce. <laughs> Somebody call Big Gene. Ask Big Gene, can he do this? Y'all know this Big Gene food never looks like this. Y'all be seeing them struggle plate Big Gene be putting up? <laughs> Y'all seen that last plate Big Gene put up? See what we doing here. Want to do a little bu Brussels sprouts? Mm -hmm. try a little bit of this chicken pasta. <laughs> Tell your man, Big Gene, come see this plate. Big Gene, this is what food look like. That nigga Big Gene place be looking like dog food. <laughs> Now, I know y'all don't want me to talk to y'all and eat. So, I'm gonna see. I know y'all like, what is Choke doing with this camera today? Ugh. I was gonna cancel coming on. 
It just come on tomorrow for y'all, but you know, try to stick to my word. But uh, I want to tell y'all about my movie. I'm dropping the trailer on Christmas Eve. The name of my movie is called Are You My Dad? And y'all, I'm not gonna tell y'all what genre it is, if I haven't already, but I don't know who that's singing. There's a few people in here singing. She sound better than Miss Juicy though. And Miss Juicy, I'm sorry, I didn't know that was you. But uh, my movie's called Are You My Daddy? It's being shot in Atlanta. We started shooting this week. Christmas Eve, I will be releasing the trailer on my YouTube channel. I hope y'all love it. Like I said, I will be doing the casting for it come January. So if you're in Atlanta, or you're gonna be in Atlanta, or you got family in Atlanta, cause I'm not flying nobody in, and you're gonna be a local, and you wanna be in the film. Auditions will be in January. Mecca, what up, Mecca Taylor? How you doing? So, Christmas Eve, y'all. Are you my daddy? The trailer's coming. And the movie will be out in the summer. I'm very excited about it. Shout out to Talia Vanderhorst Horn, who's the star of the movie. Shout out to my man Cliff that's in it. I know it's rude for me to be eating y'all, but I'm hungry, I'm out and about. This catfish is slamming. But um, I got some new shows coming out. Starting January 1st, New Year's Eve. I'm gonna release the first show. But um, I got a bunch of new shows coming. I'm gonna take y'all on the, on the travel, y'all. All around the world, hip hop history. Y'all gonna see things that you haven't seen. I'm, I've been, looking at footage that I haven't seen in 20 years. I totally forgot about. And some of this stuff is so amazing and mind blowing. Y'all talking about receipts? I got a whole cash register full of receipts. It's gonna be real crazy, y'all. All right? So, um, happy holidays to everybody. Everybody out at Christmas parties, as y'all can see, I got my Ugly Christmas sweater. It ain't really too ugly, you know. But I had to support. Alright? Y'all don't gotta worry about uh slick people in the comments. I don't pay them no mind, so you don't pay them no mind. Alright? But uh Are you my daddy? Christmas Eve. The Super Trailer. I got a few new shows coming. Starting New Year's Eve. I'll be back Monday. At 9 p.m. Matter of fact, at 8 p.m. I'll be back Monday, 8 p.m., y'all. With uh, the full scoop on Desiree Perez. I know y'all want the whole story, but I'm so distracted right now with the singing in the background, the music. I've been drinking mimosas. So I'm gonna get back to y'all when y'all got my undivided attention, but I didn't want to leave y'all hanging and let y'all down. I said I'd be on at 11, so I came on at 11. All right? Choke no joke. I'm gonna give y'all some more footage from this event. You know what I'm saying? And I'll holler at y'all in a second, all right?
Much love. Peace and love. Happy holidays, y'all.